Hello again, and this micro lecture is on momentum. In other words, what is momentum? As always, your products with three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. Remember, this is a micro lecture, so it's going to be short. All right, so momentum is the amount or quantity of motion. So if we've got like a bus here versus, let's say, a car with just one person in it, we want to describe how much motion each of these things have. So it's going to be based on a couple of different things. Namely, it's going to be based on the velocity, so something moving faster, so if this car is sitting still and this bus is moving, something moving faster is going to have more motion um, with it or um, more motion to it. And then the other thing that's going to matter is its mass, in other words, how much of it is there. Uh, obviously, even if both of these guys were moving at the same speed or same velocity, we would say the bus has more motion to it because it is bigger, it has more kind of umph behind it. So in this case, um, momentum is the kind of quantity of motion that depends on those two things. I also like to think of momentum as how hard it is to stop something. Um, so namely, if it has a ton of momentum, mainly because it's speed or because of its mass or both, then it's really hard to stop. If it's moving slow but is really big, it's still really hard to stop. Um, and that's where we can kind of account for those two things. So in this case, we've got a bus with more momentum and a car uh, with a single person with less momentum, even if they're moving the same speed, simply because this one is bigger. Now, if this guy were moving faster than the bus, then we would get into a scenario where his speed might actually balance out with uh, his lower mass to make them have the same momentum. But you'd have to be moving much, much faster. So momentum is defined by this equation. Uh, P, which is momentum, um, that's the variable for momentum, equals mass times velocity. The units for that are kilograms times a meter per second, and literally the mass is in kilograms, this velocity is in the meters per second, so that's the units for it. I often like to write them as newtons seconds because it's a little bit simpler and easier and actually means the same thing. We'll get into why that is a little bit later. Um, just a heads up, momentum is a vector, so direction matters. It can be positive or negative. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.